day investors this is your number one ebert of victoria vcrest properties this is vcrest real estate talk so today we'll be treating a new topic a, uh, um, a new one we're going to be doing this maybe so it's, it's not going to be just sunday sunday alone you know some of people will be surprised that vcrest uh today is not sunday yes <laughs> but uh just letting us more on the real estate properties in nigeria so Today we'll be treating a new topic does buyers real estate agents and developers make profit during the economic crisis so uh you're watching this video for the first time you're welcome please do smash the subscription button of the youtube channel to subscribe so you always be notified of every for latest updates every for latest notification your returning subscriber thank you for always watching our videos like our page comments please you can also share with your friends and families I hope you enjoyed the last topic uh today we'll be treating a new topic does buyers real estate agents developers make profits during the economic crisis so please i would like you to sit down and watch this video to the end depending on your weather you can grab your hot tea your hot coffee or your chill drink and watch this video to the end as i go on on this topic the narrow depreciation has really crippled property markets as many developers are recording low patronage according to Redan, Redan is a uh, uh, the full meaning of Redan is real estate developers association of nigeria dr ali wamako stated that the nation is not where it was about four years ago as a recent depreciation of naira has greatly reduced the purchasing power of the people it has affected every status like building materials cost of living and so on the declining value of naira in relation to dollar is the major source of inflation it has spiral effects and it triggers hyperinflation not just inflation we're talking about hyperinflation that is excessive increments increasing price excessively more than 50 percent even within a month i may be wrong with my own view but the way i'm saying things government policies and decision could be another factor especially when there's increase in government spending without a corresponding increase in productivity for example when governments spend more than what they earn currency devaluation also makes imports more expensive and the cost of production inflation can lead to the decrease of the value of money it can reduce the purchasing power of the investors money as a result the return on the real estate investments may not be able to keep up with the rate of inflation leading to a decrease in real estate returns in this session i'll be talking to the buyers I mean investors buying properties in this scenario with inflation going on investors should diversify their investment portfolio what do i mean by diversify that is they shouldn't just uh, buy property in one place you, investors shouldn't just invest their property invest their money invest uh, do their investment in just one particular area they should spread their investments take for instance you can buy in Ekbe, buy in Ibejileki, buy on the mainland or buy buy also in other states like abuja edo state in the east or anywhere just spread your investment why am i saying this you have to diversify your investment so that when you take for instance you buy in Ekbe, you buy in Ibejileki, you buy uh in on the mainland you you buy lucky as is you buy in the other states maybe Ibadan or any other states you don't know where someone will want that want to buy and cash out so you shouldn't buy a loan in one location you need to spread your investment in different location because it can be that the one you bought in Ibadan someone is, might be interested in it to buy it and that you you cash out or it might be that the one you bought in, on the mainland someone might be interested in that location and you cash out 
instead of just buying one location and it's just stagnant there nobody coming to buy maybe because no developments coming to that location maybe if you diversify your investment you you spread your investments in different location anyone that is interested in that any location you, you can easily cash out from there i'm encouraging our investors to diversify their investment in this economic crisis don't just put all your investment don't put all your eggs in one basket spread your investments in different locations you can buy some in on the mainland in lagos some on the island some in other states just like that because you don't know the one that anyone might be interested in to say okay i i'm, I'm i want to get land in a in, 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 in Ibadan. i want to in this location and you have your land there you can easily cash out another one for the buyers for our investors the buyers that is investors should learn long-term investment plan meaning that during the crisis you need to wait till the economy gets back you don't do invest and want to cash out immediately you need to learn long-term investment plan that you buy you wait like some persons will just buy now i want to say in the next one two years no no that's not a good deal you need to learn long-term investment plan whereby you buy you leave it for years because the crisis will remain the economy will get back in no distant time that maybe in five years time 10 years time 15 years time even 20 years time even more okay i gave an example in my previous video of uh, a client who told me of the colleague who bought a plot of land for two million naira in ekoi more than 20 years ago and as at um, two years ago people were coming for that land were begging for to buy that land for 200 million naira you can see that with the waiting the price of the property keep appreciating the more take for instance you bought a property of take for instance two million naira this year and you decide to sell it in the next two years maybe the property have appreciated then till maybe three to four five million or whatever and you sold it then imagine the next 10 15 years or, or more and you hear that same land you sold for five million now selling for let's say 100 million or more can you see that buyers should learn long-term investment plan another thing buyers need to know during this economic crisis is the best time to buy why at this period developers want to make uh, properties attractive by reducing price by discounting if you if if you take a look at this period you see that you don't hear much price increase no instead sometimes you see a uh, discount sometimes you see a uh, 10 percent discount whatever percent discount just to encourage buyers to buy so this is the best time for buyers to key into properties either land or house there are some houses right now that developers they want buyers to buy uh they they just have to stay put to their price or they just have to reduce their price so this is the best time to buy when there's economic crisis buyers this is the best time to invest in economic crisis don't say because um there's economic crisis and we need to wait because the more you wait the more you wait the time the price will increase but at, at advantage one your your hard currency is valuable here the value now is high here in nigeria so you are gaining more hope you'll be enjoying this video this is victoria obviously v crest properties this is v crest real estate talk we'll be talking on the topic does buyers real estate agents and developers make profits during economic crisis 
you're watching this video for the first time please do smash the subscription button of this youtube channel to subscribe so you always be notified of every for latest updates even for the latest notification you're returning subscriber thank you for always watching our videos like our page comment if you've not subscribed yet please do smash the subscription button of this youtube channel to subscribe please you can also share with your friends and families as i continue on this topic for real estate agents talking about us right now the real estate agent as real estate agents you must know how to save and invest too at the time you have says that you'll be making money there is opportunity for you to save don't say because ah this money is just coming to you just keep coming like this you keep spending spending recklessly spending recklessly without saving that's not good the period where you are making more sales is the period for you to save because for the say for the rainy day like what is going on right now the inflation period you know you can see right now the market is slow so real estate agents that saved are the ones that are surviving right now. That's why as real estate agents, learn how to save and also to invest too. Not just selling. You too need to invest. So I'm using this medium to advise a real estate agent to please learn how to save. Another thing, for the real estate agents, you know, because of the economic crisis right now, people are desperate to sell. They are desperate to sell. When a client call, even when you know that this property is not good, it's not genuine, and you know that this property, you will not say the truth because you just want to sell and make money. We have to have the back of our buyers because we need each other. Don't say because you have not sold for, for, for months. You have not made any sales. And the client just call and ask you for a property. You will just lie because you want to sell. You will sweet talk the person and not sell the person the truth. When, you, when there's something wrong with that property, you just want to sell without letting the person know how it is. It's not good. Please we should learn to have the back of our buyers we both need each other they trust in us so we should keep that trust when the property you know something is wrong with that property please be plain to the client to let the client know that oh see this the way this property is see this see just let the client know how the property is whether good or bad you the, you will paint it in such a way that to confuse, <laughs> to, con to convince the client to buy. That's not the way to go. Let's call a spade a spade. You see the way it is. Make it plain to the client. If it's a, it's, it's a waterlogged land and the client wants a dry land, oh, the, the land is requesting for it's a waterlogged Sa Oma is waterlog. This is how it is. If it's not going to buy, don't see me. You have other there are other properties that okay will suit. You can also oh it doesn't have title. It doesn't have title. Don't go and give it title that it doesn't have. Okay to myself, real estate agent, please. We should learn to be sincere. We should learn to tell our clients, tell our buyers, our investors, the truth, how it is. If they like it, they will buy. If they don't like it, okay, you order one, you can show, the, tell them about another one, explain the, in details, tell them how it is, the plain truth. Not because you want to sell to make money. No, not about just the money alone. Integrity matters. Trust. This session will be looking at developers. Developers should build a solid relationship with real estate agents and buyers. When there is economic crisis like this, some of the real estate developers were desperate rate of selling uh, without comprehensive uh, payment plan. 
and uh, default interest all of the slow market you should be easy to sell they should have a good comprehensive uh, payment plan and default interest so for those who maybe could not meet up with their payment plan there should be interest for default so that they won't have crisis they won't have issues developers should please always stick to their promises to the buyers whatever they promise that they want to do they should stick to it they shouldn't have it they shouldn't change it if you promise a client if you promise the buyer that you are selling a, a uh, you are that you are going to that you are going to provide uh, whatever amenities in the estate please stick to it developers should always stick to their promises the, the fact that there's inflation doesn't mean that they shouldn't be open to their buyers developers should be open to their buyers when the buyers ask questions, they should be sincere. They should give sincere answer. They should give genuine answer to whatever they have been asked. Take for instance, a client ask what the title of the property is. If the, title, if the property doesn't have CFO, don't say it has. If this property is not yet registered, don't say it is registered. Or because you want to sell your property. And they should give listening ears to their buyers. They shouldn't be boss that they are not that they cannot be assessed. They should be open. They should give listening ears to their buyers. At any time they are being called upon, whether they are being called on phone or sent messages or sent emails, they should respond to their messages. They should they should pick the cause of their buyers that when when they are being asked some certain questions for clarification they should be open to their buyers that these buyers they won't be in the business the developers should be open to their buyers they are called upon when they are asked some questions also developers should know how to wait before jumping to another property developers will just open the property today within the uh, next few months we leave the property and jump to another property without doing anything, without developing the first, the, developing the one they left to another one. That's not good. Developers should learn to wait to finish a property before jumping to another one. It's becoming rampant. Some developers will just open an estate. In less than one two months in less than a few months without developing it rush to get another one start selling that one left the one that you've not that is why the property will not appreciate it will not be because of lack of development develop the one that you, you're selling now before jumping to the next not selling in one two three months leave that one abandon that one jump to the next open that one oh this is another one now come uh, launch it on that one no develop it imagine when you open an, an estate you construct the perimeter fence the gatehouse start paving the road beautify the estate it will appreciate the invest the, the appreciate the investment and it will attract the people that attract the buyers to start developing but when you buy it when you just sell it you you it just so few plots you jump from that one to another one and uh, hey this is another one we are launching right now you are selling it from that one in the next few months you jump on that one to another one again that's not a good business that is that is not helping the it's not helping the business it's not helping the real estate it's not helping the real estate in Nigeria. It, it's killing it. Because when you develop an estate, it appreciates the value of the property. There's a, there's, there's a developer in Lagos here that, wow, this is a developer that other developers need to emulate. You see this developer when he acquires a property 
the first thing he does is develop the estates construct the perimeter fence gate house start paving roads are uh, constructing drainages planting flowers do you know that that estates this a developer's property does not take time immediately that same year that's few months that is developed people start constructing buildings in the estate and people start living there they have done one what i'm talking about i'm talking about genesis courts <laughs> i have to just say this i have to just say this name see that is how developers should do buy property develop it this will attract the buyers to start developing look at the one they did in their phase one look at the phase two now the phase three they don't just buy one uh, sell and jump and sell another one no they develop one when they are done with that one finish developing it before they jump to the nest what the thing i love about that uh developer is they acquire land with good title they develop their estates though it's expensive but it's worth it because it makes it easier for the buyers that what i bought i'm seeing the beauty i'm seeing the estate develop i can if i'm tired of seeing the rent and i want to develop my plot it's easy for me because the gatehouse is there the it's already, it's already fenced the drainage road i can start building go you can go there and see you have seen some of my videos on that particular property you see that the estate as far as they develop the estate one person come there start developing can start living there another person will, will come that is how the estate develops in less than one year one two years people are the estate is already filled up yes why because the developer made it easy for the buyers while they land they start developing perimeter fence gatehouse drainage road paving of roads so what am i waiting for when those things are set it's not to start developing it's not to start building and people are living there even the ones that they are selling now that they are selling now people already started developing because the developers have made the way the developers has have prepared the, the the place what am i waiting for when there is perimeter phase there's gatehouse our developers should emulate that our developers should emulate this developer i'm talking about they should emulate what he's doing and start doing this even ekbe that they call bush if our developers do these things that this other developer is doing people will start building their houses you will see buyers start burning there to 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 start development to start developing their plots because developers are paved the way by beautifying the estate please our real estate developers our lagos state real estate developers our nigeria real estate developers should learn to finish one estate should learn to develop their estates finish one before jumping to another not sell it 10 estates in in, in, in in one year or a few months no development this is part of why some or uh, if they are not developing because the developers are not encouraging them by putting out these structures if these structures are done some buyers are ready to develop how do development start it starts from one person when the person when the, when the asset is a, a set whereby the perimeter fence the gatehouse is ready drainage is there uh, they've 
start paving roads. Somebody, one person will come, one of the buyers will just come, ah, I want to start building, start developing. He or she moving into the into the house, into the place. Another person will see it and will come. Another buyer, another buyer will see it and will be attracted to start developing too. That is how development comes. That is how development starts. So please, our developers, please, our real estate developers, please, our Lagos State real estate developers, should please, please develop one estate at it. Develop one estate. Finish one estate before jumping to another. It's not a competition. Please encourage our buyers by developing the by developing the estate they paid for. Some buyers have paid their development fee, but developers have not developed the estate. Our developers should please do the needful. Please develop estates. Finish one estate at a time. Develop one estate before jumping to another. Don't say uh, uh, 10, 20, how many estates in, in, in less than one in, in less than one year. Me, meanwhile, no one, no record of one that is 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 is, is developed. Please learn to develop estates before jumping to another to sell another estate. In conclusion, buyers should take advantage of this uh, economic crisis to buy property now because this is the period they will get it affordable and also the currency the exchange rates now is favorable to them two our real estate agents should please please be real to our buyers don't deceive them because you are because you want to make sales don't don't deceive buyers because you want to make sales. When you know this property is not genuine, when you know this property has some issues, or you know something, don't just sell because you want to because you want to make money. Be sincere to buyers. Because we are here because of them. We are in this business. We are without them, we are won't be here. So without uh, our buyers, we won't be here. So we should be real to our buyers. We should be sincere to them. Tell them the truth. Don't paint things because you want to sell. Finally, our developers should please be open to our buyers. Listen to them when they, when they call, when they talk to you, listen to them. Give listening ears to our buyers. Give listening ears to the real estate agents and buyers. Be accessible and also develop each estate before jumping to the next. Develop one estate at a time. Develop estates don't just sell and jump to another and abandon the one that you abandon the other develop one develop every estate develop each estate before going to the opening another one to encourage our buyers to start developing and also to appreciate the value of their investments please every one of us have our roles to play we should play our roles well the buyers the real estate agents and the developers thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed this video i hope to see you on sunday we'll be talking on the topic does buyer 
real estate agents and developers make profits during economic crisis? I hope you enjoyed this video. Please do smash the subscription button of this YouTube channel to subscribe so you always be notified of ever for latest updates, ever for latest notification. Your returning subscriber, thank you for always watching our videos. Like our page, comment. If you've not subscribed yet, please do smash the subscription button of this YouTube channel to subscribe. Please, you can also share with your friends and families. Also, I want to also use this video to refer you to our other channel at Victoria Obviously, where we talk on the cost of building materials in Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria. Also, you want to buy genuine lands and affordable, an affordable luxury home. Vicrest Properties will help you do that. We also help you invest wisely. Uh, thank you for watching. Do have a wonderful day. Thank you.